Clerks, we're moving to file item 112. That's SCR 98. Clerk will read. Senate Concurrent Resolution 98 by Senator Bell and others relative to developmental services. Mr. Thurman. Mr. Thurman, you are recognized on the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and colleagues. I rise to present SCR 98. Uh, this resolution acknowledges the 50th anniversary of California's community-based developmental services system. This is the system of regional centers that have been created to serve people in California who have a developmental disability. There are 300,000 Californians with a developmental disability. These nonprofit regional centers, there are 21 of them throughout the state, help to provide the services that allow uh, individuals with developmental disabilities to live independently and with dignity in the community. Without them, these are Californians who live in institutions that are costly and expensive and that would deny Californians the right to do and live the same way each and every one of us wants to, with dignity and respect. Fifty years ago, the first two regional centers were created, one in Los Angeles and one in San Francisco. I've had the opportunity to work for the regional center in San Francisco and the regional center of the East Bay. I can tell you that these centers provide incredible services to Californians to ensure that they have access to education, to a job, an affordable place to live, connections to their community, and they deserve our support. I'm so proud that we are honoring this community on the same year where we provided $300 million to support those with a developmental disability. We've kept the promise and we're continuing to strengthen a great system. I respectfully ask for your I vote on SCR 98. Thank you, Mr. Thurman. Seeing no discussion or debate on this item, Mr. Thurman, would you like co-authors? Please. The clerk will open the roll. Members, this is co-authors adding on to SCR 98, co-authors adding on to the resolution. Clerk will close the roll. There are 75 co-authors added. With that objection, we may take a voice vote on the resolution. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. The ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Mr. Thurman, back to you for your guest introduction relative to the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, I want to introduce some incredible advocates who have been fighting for our regional center systems and for the people that we serve. They are Jim Burton, who is the executive director of the regional center of the East Bay, Evangeline Imana Ayamura, who is the vice president of the regional center of the East Bay board, and Evan, her 11-year-old son, who has autism, but is not defined that way. He is an advocate and a champion for others, and I'm honored that he is here with us today. I'd like to also introduce members of the sponsoring organization of the Association of Regional Centers who are sitting in the gallery. They are advocate Daniel Sabino and legislative advisor Rick Rollins, who has a 25-year-old son with autism and is the former secretary of the Senate. Please help me in welcoming our friends and partners and our guests. <laughs> 